this is my second time recording this. I am making a video to answer all the questions I got about my racist posts. Actually, not questions. The hate mail I got. You guys, like, it, it's like you think you're hurting me, but it, you're not. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me just say, we go to a large high school. There are about 2,000 students. 60% of them are black. There's like a 10% of like Asian, whatever, blah, 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 all those things. That's and then nice. there's white people, which is like, I'm not good at math, never mind. Anyway, um, <laughs> so out of the 60% that are black, 90% um, of the kids that graduate are white, 90% of them. Not a lot of black kids graduate from my school. They they don't like make a living for themselves. They just drop out of high school. They oh, I'm gonna have kids. I'm gonna get a welfare I'm check. Get my GED. <laughs> I'll get on. my GED. I'm gonna go work at McDonald's and oh, I'll, if I keep having my babies, Shaniqua, Liko, and Jaquayque, I'll keep getting my welfare check for having my babies. Yeah. Like that is how. Okay. They take. They literally get their welfare check, they get whatever, food stamp, that's how they, whatever, they get their welfare check and they go and they buy these like expensive name brand clothes and like then they don't have enough money to pay for like rent or anything because they do that and it's stupid, like why I don't understand is how their priorities, they don't have them right and it, that's what's annoying about it. I don't care, I don't care if you're black. <laughs> I could care less about the color of your skin as long as you're not like stupid <laughs> and that's just stupid I don't like and how to how to speak right like why can't they fucking talk right I, I hate, hate that. that I hate it we are talking normal we talk with very eligible is that the right word <laughs> that I meant I meant <laughs> We are talking with, what is the, the, word the for vernacular? It? That's the way someone talks. Okay, it's like we're clear. Like you can understand what we are saying. Our accents, we use actual words. Black people do not. I can't understand. Something. Like I'm gonna go down to Selma. I gotta buy this thing. Oh girl. Oh man. Tyrone. He. What is that? Like, are you stupid? Here, yeah. There are so many black people. The welfare here is, how many white people do you welfare here? Probably like 20%. Yeah. Okay. I have said this before. 30 of them. Every argument I have is based off of where I live. It's a ghetto place. If you lived here, you would understand. You would not like these black people. That's, that's my argument. Like, it's where we live. I have been raised around them. It's how it's, they are. It's not even black people themselves. It's, it's the niggers. niggers. Like, there's a difference. There's black people. They're fine. They're educated. They go to school. They do what they have to do. Then there's niggers who can't talk right. They keep having kids. They can't get jobs. There's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> what does your best friend say when you talk shit about his race? Or do you keep your mouth shut around him? My best friend, his name is Marcel. Marcel Bichelle, no, um, <laughs> he is practically white, like he is, his skin color is almost, if it was dark in the room, you wouldn't be able to find him, he's that black, his parents, they're both surgeons, he has a wealthy family, he hangs out with all white people, he makes fun of his race all the time, because he knows that there are niggers who are just ignorant yeah. fucks, who are doing nothing with their life, my friend Mia does it all the time too, she yeah. makes fun. She was in my history class. Yeah. Year. She makes fun of the black girls in my class and how ridiculous they act. She's like, I don't remember where she's from. She's so Jamaican. Like, Jamaican. And she doesn't consider herself black at all. She hates the way they act. And she's educated and she's hilarious. She's so funny. I, <laughs> I love her. But like, there's a, di there's a complete difference and that's not what she's talking about. She keeps saying black people, but she doesn't mean fucking all because I'm not, I'm not gonna make a post. Color. I'm not gonna say on Tumblr niggers, 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 niggers in the whole post. Because the ghetto African Americans. Um, no, like I say, black people because it's just a generalized term. Anyway. And typically forced into worse living conditions by white people. They are not forced into living conditions by white people. They do that. They bring that upon themselves by I'm not sorry. getting jobs, not graduating. That's why they live in crappy places in the town. 
because they don't know how to make money. Wait, they're, I don't, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that white people go into black people's ha nice houses and, and, and take them out, like, take them and like, put them in the ghetto. White male students, I'm joined now by the president of the former Majority Association for Equality, Colby Bohannon, and Mark Lamont Hill, professor of education and African American studies at Columbia University. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, Colby, I'm going to start with you. Let's talk about the $1,000 scholarship. Uh, in it, to be eligible, uh, you must be a male, uh, at least 25% Caucasian, and either be a college <laughs> student or a high school senior with at least a 3.0 GPA. Uh, what brought you to create this scholarship? Well, originally the idea started in 2002. I was splitting a one-bedroom apartment with my cousin Brandon. We were working full-time, going to school full-time, and uh, you know we started to conduct a search for scholarships for for our own financial aid. We applied to a couple. Unfortunately, uh, we were not awarded any scholarships. We're not saying that's because we were Caucasian male, but what we did find during our search were dozens, hundreds, thousands of ethnically-based scholarships that were for this group, that group, or, or whichever, mm -hmm. but none of them were focusing on Cauca Caucasian Americans. Right, you know, and Mark, uh, let's build on what Colby's saying there. He, he may have a point here. There are scholarships for all kinds of racial groups and ethnicities, uh, and we've got some of the data here. High school to college immediate transition rates. Let me show you this. Uh, whites, uh, 72, Hispanic, 64, and African American, 56. This is some of what we're seeing right here. And, and, right. Uh, First, of, respond to that for us, would you? Well, first of all, being white itself is a form of scholarship. White people have access to school in ways that black people don't, as well as criminal justice, as well as housing, as well as health care, as well as uh, food. I mean, we could go on down the list of social issues and that white people are advantaged over uh, people of color and other groups. So, for, to that extent, there's no need. The other issue here is that scholarships historically have there's been no to need. There's has, no has, need. Has been to respond to historical uh, forms of inequality. That's why there are scholarships for people who are African American or Native American because they haven't had access both financially or in terms of getting into the schools. White folk have never had a problem getting into schools. This is part of a spectacle that we see every year with affirmative action bake sales, with now whites only scholarships, which only draw attention to white folk who are becoming increasingly frustrated with the fact that the world might just be becoming a little bit more fair. Now, Colby, is it about inequality? You were shaking your head there. Uh, first of all, I, I just want to thank him for, for pointing out the fact that since white folk have, white folk, his words, not mine, have no problem uh, affording anything, white, right? I'm going to go ahead and go to the bank uh, right after I'm done with this interview. I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to say, hey, I forgot that I was a Caucasian American. Can you just go ahead and uh, throw some money in my account, please? No, but, no, no, but what they will do is give you, a, a, statistically, you are much more likely to get a lower interest rate with the same credit score as I am. White men with, with, uh, with I, I, no, you know, our organization is not you're, talking you're, about credit. Scores. No, no but, you're, you're, but, you're, but you're mocking the point as if white people are not advantaged in the public sphere. The fact is, if you had a felony conviction, you'd be more likely to get a job call back than me without one. These are real issues, and those things play into college admission. They play into college scholarships. This is this is about the purchase that whiteness has in public. Here we go to the ghetto. There are white Do people. Did I say all black people are ignorant fucks? No, I didn't. I said I something about most black people. Here. I am not Mexican. My family, half my family is from Cuba. The other half is Irish American, some other bunch of crap. I don't know. For one day, um, it was my family from Cuba, not me personally. My grandma was born in Cuba. Our family owned all the railroads and half of Cuba. He was the mayor of Havana. You can't tell me I was, I had, oh, poor, dirty, flea-ridden life. My family was wealthy and successful in Cuba. When Castro and all that crap came along and ruined it, that's why we had to move to America. But, like, your argument is saying, oh, you're trying to get away from your pedophiles, that's, has nothing to do with She's anything. She's atheist. She doesn't even care about the Pope. <laughs> I, have no, I don't care about the Pope, but like, okay. I bet your black friend hates you and James is shitting in your food. No, he, <laughs> he hates niggers too, so I don't think he wants to shit in my food. And last one, you are the very definition of a silly little girl. I am silly, and I am a little girl, so I guess, I guess that works. <laughs> That's Thank you for your time. Bye. Right there in the front of my notes. Give me the fucking thing. I don't want the, the letter. Please don't do that, ma'am. Please don't. I do will. That. I don't want the letter. Give me the cards back. Ma'am, please don't do that. I said I don't want the letter. Give me the cards back. Ma'am, you already signed for it. If I keep it, I sign. I don't want it.
Man, please it's not for me. This is not for me. This is not for me. It's the wrong name. Take it back because it's not mine. It's man, be like I, no, I cannot give you this. Why do you want the signatures, you fucking nigger thief? You want me to lock you up for life, you asshole? Give me my stiff shit back. Ma'am. And I'm not prejudiced, but right now I'm getting real pissed off. Ma'am, why are you calling me names? I mean, I'm just delivering your bill. Because you're acting like a nigger. Now give me the cards back. All right, ma'am, I'm going to have to go, ma'am. I'm sorry. Give me the cards back. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Why are you calling me the end name? Because you're acting like a moron. I'm, I'm, with, I'm, I'm late I... for all the mails. I mean, for all the customers. I have to deliver the mails. You're don't holding me up. They'll kill you. Why you would have killed me, ma'am? I don't, but they will. Who? White people. White people. We're not doing what I need you to do right now. Now, please, just give me back. Ma'am, why are you... Ma'am, why you slap me, ma'am? Why, why you slap me, ma'am? Ma'am, why are you slapping me?